mouse location. As the mouse pointer moves over the client area of the form, we can track its location. The client area is divided into a numbered grid. The numbering starts in the top left corner at 00. zero. The numbers get bigger as you move to the right. This is the x-axis. The numbers also get bigger as you move down. This is the y-axis. So as the mouse pointer moves over the grid, we can get its x and y coordinates. Let me show you how to display the pointer's coordinates in the form's title bar. Open Visual Studio. From the File menu, select New Project. On the New Project dialog, select Visual Basic Templates. Then select Windows Forms Application. Click the OK button. Now double click the form to open the Code Editor. From the class name drop down list, select Form 1 Events. From the method name drop down list, select Mouse Move. Type me. Dot text me in this context is the form text is the title is the form's title bar text type equal sign e dot location dot to string E in this context is the mouse pointer location is the pointers coordinates to string means output is text so this line of code means when the mouse moves display the pointers coordinates in the forms title bar click the start button to run this application. When the mouse pointer is in the top left corner of the client area, zero zero is displayed. As you move the mouse pointer to the right, the value of x gets bigger. As you move the mouse down, the value of y gets bigger. So this is how you track the mouse pointer's location. If you like this video, please click the like button and subscribe.